And just over the Yellow Sea, the South Korea is facing a similar issue to China. However, its population is aging the fastest of anywhere in the world, and the government is finding it difficult to keep them occupied. And indeed happy, which, as we touched upon earlier, is so important for their physical and mental health. Our reporter Joseph Kim visited a tech startup, which is trying to go against the grain and give these old timers a chance. Kim Dong-gil visits the soup kitchen every other morning for a free hot breakfast. With nowhere left to go, the church has somewhat become his home, something he has sorely lacked after retiring. Despite having a family, Mr. Kim says he doesn't want to be a burden to them, having no money and being too old to take care of his grandchildren. So he lives alone, in a small studio apartment, just watching his time go by. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but living is so sad. It's not that Mr. Kim can't work, it's just that he can't get a job. They say it's the 100-plus year generation, but there are a lot of healthy seniors, so if they could just give us jobs. Nearly half the elderly population in South Korea ages 65 and up live in poverty, the highest among advanced economies. And with the lacking welfare system, many are forced to fend for themselves. In addition to poverty, South Korea is grappling with another serious issue, elderly suicide. Alone with no support, many seniors here are resorting to suicide at a staggering rate, the highest in the world. All the while, South Korea is projected to become the oldest country by 2050 with its record low birth rates and increasing life expectancy. Everyoung is an IT startup in Seoul founded with this purpose. Hire employees above the age of 55, their oldest worker being more than 80. Chung Eun Sung said that with the changing generation, social norms have changed, bringing about discrimination against seniors. His company hopes to reverse that. In this society, they don't even give elders an opportunity. And from their work, it's been shown that we're extremely competitive, especially if you look at our turnover rate. Like Kim Dong-gil, who said he'd rather work, Kim hyun suk and other workers at Everyoung said that they were searching for a purpose after retiring, causing them to fall into depression. But after finding challenging work and a community, they said that they would like nothing more than to continue working. After working so hard my entire life, when I retired and did nothing for a while, I started to doubt my life. Why am I living? And is this even living? Because of my situation, having to take care of my kids and take care of my parents, I had to quit my job even though I didn't want to. So I'm very glad that I can start working again. The South Korean government has also made attempts to solve the problem, creating education programs for seniors to try and help them readjust to their lives after retirement. But more efforts beyond training will be needed, including a stronger welfare system, in order to tackle this impending problem. Joseph Kim for CGTN, Seoul.